Hey guys, just wanted to do a quick video uh, talk about a cool application in OpenCV called GrabCut. Um, so GrabCut's an actual application that does a lot of the heavy lifting for you. Um, so if we take this car, for example, and say there was a media company that wanted to use this car in another commercial and they wanted to remove the, move it out of the showroom, normally what they would have to do is uh, go pixel by pixel and tell an application what they wanted to remove. Well, GrabCut does this in a uh, in a more intuitive way. Um, we know just by looking at it that there's a different intensity intensities of application that are the car versus the background, and this is what we want. We're in essence trying to um, take an object and say there's a bunch of intensities that we want to create a model that's different from the background. And uh, basically some of the theories is that that's what we're doing. We're, so if I took this two color example, in here there would be different intensities, but what I want to do is this black line, I'm creating a model that represents the object. And wherever I don't see those intensities, that's the background. Where I do see those intensities, that's the object that I'm concerned with. So here there's two colors, and that's the Gaussian mixture model. Here it would be a little bit more complex because there's several colors and intensities, but in general, this is what's happening. So if I was to zoom in, let's just say on a set of pixels here, the green here would represent the background the red would represent the car but when we're this close and we're trying to create a delineation how do i tell the application how does the application actually define that this all of these are the background and all of these are the car what i want to end up with something like this i want to end up that the application is going to fill out this say black for example that's the background, and then this, leave it alone, that's the car. How do I do that? Well, what it does is, GrabCut is actually going to lay out these pixels in intensities relate, related to each other. And then it's gonna build a graph. And uh, that graph kind of looks something like this. So what I would be doing in this application is all I have to do is tell the application of what I say is the background and what I say is the car. And then it's going to build a graph model that looks something like this. It knows what I'm telling it now is the, the model, that, that is the background. And it's going to then take that in relation to every other pixel in that region. And same with the car. I'm gonna say this is the car. How does it relate to every other pixel and it's not only doing it by intensity but it's also doing it by space and it creates this graph so these lines represent the relationship to the pixel that I'm telling is the background versus every other pixel and what is the car versus every other pixel and then GrabCut uses several other applications to choose from to uh, to delineate what it says is what it thinks is the background, and what it thinks is the uh, the car. So that's essentially what's happening. We're zooming down and we're telling, in uh, in a sense, the car is this Gaussian mixture model. What's the background? What's the foreground? It creates a delineation based on the Gaussian mixture models, and it tries to do the segmentation. So that's the theory. Um, Let's run through a uh, little demo now of what this looks like. So I'm just gonna just put this up in the corner. We're gonna use that as a reference. And uh, we're just gonna run this application just to get an idea. So here's the, here's the, what we're gonna draw on and here's gonna be the end result. So the first thing that we gotta do is create the Gaussian mixture model. And we do that by telling, sorry, let me 
reset this. I want to create a bounding box. And inside the bounding box, I'm telling GrabCut what I think the Gaussian mixture model should be created based on this. Now, it's going to look in here and say, based on all these colors, this is the Gaussian mixture model, and this is your reference. So if we update this model now, you can already see it's done a pretty good job in figuring out what I think is the background, mostly black and around. Now, yeah, we did get some shadowing because the shadow maybe got confused. So what we can do now is actually do some updates. So in the updates, if I go around now and I say, this is the background, I'm going to go through here and even touch it up and say that this is the background. So you can see it's already cut through and reduced it some more. I can do a little bit more and do a little bit more there. So you can see what's happening is that a little bit more gets taken away. Now that's just the background. I can also do the foreground. So I can actually say not only is that the background, but this is the foreground. This is the car. This is what I'm interested in. And you get the idea of what's happening. It's actually updating the model and creating more of a better model than to how to distinguish between the background and the foreground. Anyways, that's just a quick example. I wanted to go through that. Some people were asking me if uh, I could do a video on it, and uh, I think that gives you an idea. But uh, if you guys have any more questions, let me know, and uh, I can make another video, maybe talk more about the theory and the math, but most people just want to see the application. Anyways. Uh, until next time. Bye, guys.